Atim Sharon and Piloya Charity, a young ladies in Gulu City who have been trained in hairdressing and tailoring respectively by Care International through the ended five-year Women and Youth Resilience Project, WAYREP. The two had nothing for income generation as Piloya testifies being a beggar in Gulu before the skills training. They have given me the skill and have paid even for me. I've got also the machine. Last days I used to make money, but as per now, there's no need for me to make money. I did hairdressing, but before then, I was just at home doing nothing, just sitting and waiting. Then time came when there's a project called Wearip. After acquiring the skills two years ago, the two quickly started looking for space so that they can start businesses. According to Naomi Achara, the Wairep project manager, over 70,000 youths and women in Nero City, Gulu City and Terego district benefited in the five years. Implemented by Care International Uganda in partnership with Strive Gulu and Seford, youths and women attained knowledge in various enterprises like tailoring, motorcycle repair, saloon and soap making, among others. We had those that had dropped out of school. We had the girls who had come to the street to look for better livelihoods and then commercial sex work. So what the project did was to gather this kind of vulnerable girls. And so when we got them, and then enroll them for the non-formal uh, skilling program in the different courses that they wanted. Our core intention was two things to achieve. One, support them to be economically stable and empowered, but also boost their social life. But we have seen over time that some of these have become advocates for peace inside their own community. They have become strong leaders and they are now speaking for the other women who are marginalized. Those who labored to start own businesses after getting the startup kits are now living a different life. And after six months I passed off, I went out to the market looking for a rent, somewhere that I can sit. By God's grace, I got a lady who accept where I should sit. Then in this machine, I'm seeing my life has changed. Right now, I'm able to get something out of it, but I'm upgrading slowly, slowly. However, these beneficiaries struggle to expand their businesses, which have been limited by inadequate capital. That's why Glu City Resident City Commissioner Jane Francis Amongin calls upon community development officers to consider such people in PDM funds as they have everything it takes for effective investment of the money. I want to thank CARE and all the partners that they work with. They are helping us to fulfill our manifesto. We would request our CDOs that these programs that we have, these government programs, if we can bring in the support board. In the city we, are still, we still have money that is unspent. So like those who have got skills, like in tailoring, they can join the tailors emioga. Like those who have gone for carpentry, they can join the carpentry mioga. However, even those at individual level, we could bring them on board on PDM because they have the skill, but they don't have a startup capital. I heard the mayor saying we could get the, if we could get the, the names of these groups. The WAREP project also trained its beneficiaries on the fight against the GBV and financial literacy that accompanied skills development. Joseph Odama, UBC News.